Hey, it's Troy from Bookseller Academy. Uh, I just want to show you a new feature that we have in the software. It's a consignment based piece so that way you could sell books for other people. We have some books here that we actually got from a client. We taught our consignment to scan the books for us and they gave it to us to sell on their behalf because they don't want to go through the whole FBA process. So I'm going to show you how to use the software and it's going to be a client thing where you could actually track what you sell from them and we're going to pull down the reports and then now you could see how you could actually pay them based off of what they sell. So however you want to do your your consignment, whether it's a 30, 50%, but this is another way that you could source books instead of going out there and working with somebody else and they are actually giving you the books. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and process these books. Got this cool calculus book. It's an acceptable book. Great encounter, Just skimming through. Acceptable, completely mad. Oh, this is cool, it's good. All right, we got our client books all sorted out now. I've separated good books and then we have our acceptable books. Since these are not our books, I'm just making sure that the customer gets a really good product, but then at the same time, I'm protecting our account as well. For the client FBA mode, you're gonna go to list FBA and then it's gonna be client FBA. So we're now in the software. This page is gonna be familiar to you, except now we have a client area right here. And this is where you can define your clients and this will make sense when I actually pull down the reports for you. So that way you could pay out your clients on whatever commission agreement that you have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this process, hit a default price, put the cogs in. Since it's a client, uh, we got this for free. The quantity is gonna be one. We like to number our clients in a way where we have a coding system in the back, but you could actually put whatever you want. You could put your you know, client one or client two, but our system is U137. That is identifying a particular client in the system. Just like before you would set up your condition, well, we're starting off with this acceptable book that has no dust cover. So we have a condition note that has no dust cover. Since it doesn't have a barcode, we're gonna just type this in yes it is a good book no dust cover so i'm actually going with lowest use merchant fulfilled and we're going to make this book move you notice now in the SKU, the SKU has that client's ID. And I'll show you how that looks from a reporting standpoint and then how you pay out your clients when the book starts selling. Gonna hit submit products here. Wanna see how this client did. We'll look at the summary report. It looks like for these books, it's gonna be estimated about $317 profit. Our cost of goods is zero because we're sharing the profit. Then we're just gonna hit submit products. All right, so we got everything listed. So I'm gonna show you in the report section how much we sold for the client. If we go to analyze reports here and we go to statement analysis. So we're going to download the flat file of your last statement. If you go to payment report, it should bring up your Amazon account and bring you directly to your past settlements page. You want to download the flat file right here. Flat file has been downloaded. When you analyze your statements, you choose the file and then you select the file that you just downloaded. It's just analyzing the SKUs. It's analyzing uh, what was sold. So this is a really good overall view of your payment report. So this is what the payment was, um, how much what you did in reimbursements, if you paid, how much you paid for inbound shipping, if you had any disposals, how many units sold. But let's try to find that client. Remember, we had a client ID of U137. So if we search U137, okay, that's going to automatically filter that out for you. So now you have all the sales. You can see right now, there's no filter. There was $1,000 of sales. But if you actually do the actual client which is in the SKU. Now you can see how much was sold, what the fees were, and what the payment is. So with this particular client we're giving them back 50% so they'll take half of that. So we'll just go ahead and write them a check for half of $263. So that's how that works to run your business with a client base that has a commission agreement. If you have any questions about how client and consignment works leave them in the comments below and we'll try to answer.